get my mom laughing, get her happy, get her right. Yes. Oh, we're going to kill that sound real quick. Well, anyways, I hope that you guys are doing well. Rise and shine, rise and grind. I hope that this Wednesday has been an amazing day for you guys. Okay. Everyone. Aquí me encuentro yo con mi, con mi mamá como cada miércoles. Mami, ¿cómo te sientes hoy? Eh, hoy miércoles. Very, estamos... very blessed, happy. En español también, mija, para la gente que no habla inglés. Muy feliz, muy bendecida, bien contenta. Mm. Bien agradecida de Dios. Amén. A ver, cheers. Salud. Cheers to mothers and daughters, to daughters and mothers, a las madres, a las hijas. Estamos brindando. Happy Mom's Day. Happy qué? Mom. Mami, pero ya lo happy happy Mom Day. Mom, el men completo. Oh, man. month, no mom. You know that her English is not very good looking, but the point is that nosotros te entendemos, we understand. <laughs> Oye, me mira, mami, here's a question. De curiosidad, so you guys know that I've been doing my lives. My mom is a bomb Wednesdays. Um, today we still a little bit late because you know what? The most important thing overall is our health. Um, if you guys saw that I posted on my Insta story, I had to go see my favorite doctor in the world, Dr. Viera. I have to go make sure that my health is together. Most importantly, my mother's as well. Um, she's diabetic and she has a lot of other health issues. And, you know, um, I, I got a little bit delayed, but the most important thing is that we are here. Aunque llegamos un poquito tarde hoy, estamos aquí en vivo. Um, my mom is a bomb, really came about celebrating mothers, celebrating daughters. Everybody that knows me knows that I love my mom. We have a great bond. We get along very well. Everything isn't always peachy. We have our little, you know, a little moments because, you know, we're two different individuals. Pero, aunque nosotros seamos dos personas diferentes, nos entendemos, nos queremos, nos apreciamos, que creo que es muy importante que el público sepa. Obviamente todos los miércoles estamos hablando de la relación de madre e hija. Pero que sepan, a ver, si tú tuvieras que darle cinco consejos a una madre que tiene a su hija, ¿qué cinco consejos de cosas que ha aprendido tú como madre en este proceso? ¿Qué cinco consejos le pudieses dar a, a las madres que están viendo el show ahora? Tolerancia. Tolerance. Comprensión. Comprensión. Eh. Eh, Being able to comprehend. Trata de comprender eh, los diferentes momentos que ella esté pasando en, en cualquier situación. Okay, that's a good one. Mucho amor. Lots of love. Make sure you you give your your daughters, your sons, lots of love. Show them, tell them, you know. It's Mucha true. comunicación. Communication is key. Good one. That's a good one. Y cuidar todo, protegerla. Protegerla, protect her. Protegerla, donde tú fuiste, con quién tú estabas. Oh my God, and my mom's really good at that. She's talking about like, you have to protect your daughter, ask her where she's at, who she's with, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, let me tell you some fun fact before we start getting into all the interviews and stuff, because you know we have to keep it cool too. Back in the days when I used to go out on dates with the boys or whatever, my mom would make me take a picture of the car that the guy came to pick me up, and I had to send her a picture of the tag. Que antes tú me hacías tirarle fotos a los carros y a la chapa de los carros ah, de los muchachos. De lo, y de los Uber, todavía cuando tú tienes que viajar, yo le cojo fotos a, lo, a, la, a la chapa, a la tarde de los carros. Yeah, my mom's a straight stalker. You know what? And before we get into it, I also want to talk about, right, when it comes to daughters and mothers and relationships, right? Um, a lot of times, a lot of girls don't feel comfortable talking to their parents or mainly their moms about their sex life, about... Um, you know, just liking boys and all these. And I know that this is a hard topic to talk about, but it's necessary. So, mommy, before we call our friend Monique from My Little Organics, which I love her, um, I just want to have some bonding time with my mom as well. Um, mommy, una pregunta. Cuando tú primero te enteraste que ya yo, a mí me gustaban los muchachitos y eso, y que yo estaba saliendo como, tú sabes, no si estás romántica, pero que me gustaban los muchachos y yo salí y eso. ¿Cómo tú, como madre, cómo te sentiste? ¿Te sentiste preparada para esa evolución mía? ¿O, o cuando tú te enteras que ella tuya está chichando? Yeah. yeah, when you find out that your daughter's already having sex. Mom, how do you handle that? Because my mom cried. Let me tell you, my mom cried and she got on her knees. She's so Caribbean and dramatic. She got on her knees and she's like, oh, God, what did I do to deserve this? I'm like... Bueno, yo siempre te crié como, como una, mi mejor amiga. So, siempre te vi, cuando tú vayas a estar con un muchachito, un novio, boyfriend, yo, yo quiero ser la primera en saberlo. Y claro está, cuando ya, siempre te digo, cuando tú tengas tu primera relación, yo quiero ser la primera en saberlo, para aconsejarte, para, para ver si te convenía el boyfriend o no. A ver, dilo en inglés. 
What I, is it? All time I tell you. Yeah. I want to know when when you start. Uh, fucky, uh, fucky fucky. Fucky <laughs> fucky. <laughs> you want me to tell you when I started fucky fucky? And then what happened? <laughs> I want to uh, know uh, first uh, know about, about you want to be the first one to know yeah, yes. why because all I, I for you, you have any problem I want to know oh to give me advice yes so girls you already know listen if you haven't fucky fucky yet <laughs> make sure to tell your mom your mom needs to be the first one that mom I, I want to start fucky fucky so she can give you advice and be like you know don't do it like this do it like that protect yourself Oh my God, here's another fun fact. This is another mother-daughter experience. Um, when my mom also found out that I was, you know, sexually starting to be curious and, and stuff like that, she took me to Walmart. And she bought me this huge box, as big as this grand pretty box for the condoms. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with all of this? And she was like, well, they, I don't want there to be no excuse that you didn't protect yourself and you didn't know. So communication is key. Whether it is about your friends, about your relationships, about your sexual, you know, whatever it is that you may want to do, talking to your mom is always good because they have experience. They've already lived, they already know, even though we think that we know it all. But it is true. So, es verdad que la comunicación es muy importante claro, entre madre claro. y hija. Lo mejor de. All time I tell you, I, I am your best, your best friend, your best friend. You are my best friend. It is true. She always did tell me that she was my best friend, even when I got in trouble. She was always there to, you know, protect me. Hasta cuando yo me, me, me metí en problemas, tú siempre me aconsejabas, sí, yo siempre sí. hablaba contigo. Porque nosotros creamos esa... You know, a lot of people look at us and talk about, oh, what a great bond you have, or they watch a relationship, I love and hip hop. This has been years of building up this trust and being able to feel comfortable this way. So if you feel that you haven't been able to have a good bonding experience with your mother, specifically your mom, right? Um, This is the best time for you to change that mindset and change. You have the power to change the, the change the circumstance, to change the break the cycle, right? You have the power to change. If you want to have a better relationship with your mother, start by communicating, start by talking, start by expressing how you feel, your feelings towards her, um, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether you like something they did or whatever. Communication is key. And talking about communication, Someone who is a great mother, someone who has also had a great bonding experience with her mother um, and is, is an entrepreneur, she's a boss, and she knows how to grind in a way, is my friend Monique Rodriguez. And I know that she is also with her mom, so she's going to go live with us today. Is she here? Knock, knock. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, my love. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? You look All amazing. Well. All is well. Hi, mom. Hi. Hi. <laughs> awesome. Well, you know that um, for the month of May, um, we're celebrating mothers and daughters. I think it is so important for people to to see, uh, you know, in a positive light, the relationship that mothers and daughters can have. Um, and I know that we, I've spoken to you several times on live, but in this case, it's even more special because you're with your mom and with my mom. And I personally wanted to ask you, how have you guys been? Um, you and your mom, how have you guys been handling this quarantine? Um, you know, actually, I've been handling it pretty well. Um, you know, I think we talked about it before. Like, I have the mindset, like, to not focus on the things that I can't control. And during this whole situation, like, it's out of our control. We really see yeah. who's in control. And I just choose to channel and focus on the things that I can control. And some of the things Amen. that I can control is my attitude. I can control my perspective. Yeah, you know, I can control the time that I'm spending with my family. I look at things from a positive perspective. And for me, this situation has allowed me to really focus on what's important. We have our health. We have our strength. I have my Amen. family here. So, you know, those are things that I'm grateful for. So in a season such as this, we have to have that type of gratitude and be thankful and, and not complain because it, it's, it's easy to complain. Right? right, but it's hard to have a, a, a good mindset and have a positive perspective on this whole situation. So, you know, I've been good. You know, I've been channeling my creativity, you know, okay. doing what I love to do. My mom, she can speak on it, but, you know, she loves clothes. She likes to sew. And she's been taking this time to, like, um, make masks and donate masks to, like, hospitals and stuff. But, I mean, you could talk about how you've been adjusting to this. And most definitely, Mom, how proud of you of your daughter? <laughs> 
I am very proud of my book. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> very I proud. Great. Isn't yes. it great to see how you, you know, you created this this little human being and now yes. you're able to see her grow into the woman that she has become and to yes. know that, you know, she she's an entrepreneur, she's beautiful. I mean, I'm proud of you too, girl. Thank yes. you. Thank you. <laughs> so with the face masks, tell me more about these face masks that you've been doing. Oh, you know, I have, you know, like I said, I've been sewing. And during the quarantine, you know, I've been doing a lot of, you know, spending a lot of time with my challenges in fashion and design. So nice. one day I just sat down. I'm like, you know what? I used to work at a hospital, you know, at the front front desk, not as a healthcare provider, but actually at the front desk checking patients in, you know. And I thought about, you know, the staff that I worked with, you know, and I just felt you know, compassion, you know, right. how they have to go in there every day, mm -hmm. you know, and have to deal with the circumstances and risk in their lives. So right. I said, let me just do something for them. And I made them all, everybody in the whole entire staff, I made them masks and took them up there and donated them to them. Well, thank you so much for being such a good heart, for being such an amazing person to take some time out of your day to give back to those that are giving back to so many other people. So right, definitely right. thank you for that. And I also um, want to ask you, well, I'll ask mommy first in Spanish because you already know how we do this, pero mommy, para el Día de las Madres, ¿cómo celebramos el Día de las Madres? Yo creo que sí. Ay, hicimos una buena comida. Aquí, como uh, estamos en cuarentena, eh, nos tomamos unos traguitos de vino, chile. una buena comida, y, flores, uh, tranquila, vimos televisión, tranquila aquí en la casa. Ay, en paz y armonía. Uh, Amén. So what I was asking was, how did, well, basically, I was like, mommy, I don't even remember because we've been stuck in this house for so long. How did we celebrate Mother's Day? But how did you guys celebrate Mother's Day? Listen, we celebrated <laughs> Mother's Day. We did a TikTok. <laughs> oh. I didn't know I was being filmed. Mom, you be TikToking? Uh, I didn't know I was being filmed. <laughs> okay. Um, they like it? Yeah. You did a TikTok, and what else did you guys do? So we um we ordered out because neither one of us was gonna cook. Exactly. And we actually watched the Michelle Obama documentary Which for, for Mother's Day. Yeah. So, nice. so we had a very relaxing and you know I'm in Chicago, so the weather here was not the greatest. We couldn't right. go outside and enjoy. So we had movie night and we watched the Michelle Obama documentary and did our little TikTok. Yes. Hey, that sounds like a beautiful Mother's <laughs> Day to me. And by the way, I also want to take this opportunity. If I haven't done it enough, I want to do it once again out of the bottom of my heart. I want to thank you so much, my organic and everything else, your, your company, your brand, um, you as a person. Thank you so much for sponsoring my brand Pretty Box, for believing in me, for believing in my project and what I'm doing. I pray that we have the opportunity to continue working together. Um, who knows? Maybe we can collaborate in some hair product, girl. But yes. the point is that. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you again for sponsoring me with this Grand Prix box. Absolutely. Um, I just want to thank you for having us on. Thank you for having me a part of the box. Um, you yes. could have chosen whatever hair care brand you wanted to choose, but you chose us to be a part of it. So listen, I'm honored. <laughs> no, and by the way, I am a fan. Mom, please tell me the truth. You use all your daughter's products, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, they're right here now. Yes. Okay. So yes. I definitely, um, I am a fan of your products because not only does it work, it smells great. I've oh, read yes. so many great reviews and great feedback. I put it in My mom, you know, we're Dominican. And we're really big into taking care of your hair and doing all those mm -hmm. things. So my mom, the moment she tried it, she was like, this is some good product. Like, yes. this is yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it does. Yeah. You become addictive. Yes. 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 It <laughs> is true. I'm such a fan. And I know that recently you just put out um, a new a new product. It's like rice water or something, right? Right. So we just launched a rice water collection. Um, and we launched it last week and we already sold out. So we're trying to get it back in stock. And I did my hair last week. I've been using a rice water collection on my wash and goes. And my mom is even asking me like, what is that you're using on your hair? Why yeah, does your hair look so shiny? 
I'm yeah. like, I'm using the right sweater. So she's like, well, let me make sure that I'm using it. So she wants me to show her how to use the products. My mom is not a hair person. No. So I didn't get the, the, the gift of hair <laughs> from my mom. She was oh. always into fashion. I've always been the hair person. So she still comes to me for like tips on how to do her hair. So oh, um, nice. that's, well, yeah. That's my mom is a hair person. I'm not a hair person. Like I'm really not that savvy. My mom will do the avocado, the mayo, you know, hair, whatever. Old school. It means. Yeah. The, mm. She will boil some cinnamon. She does like a whole <laughs> production. Um, I'm not very savvy, but thankfully we have people like yourself that can teach us. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. <Yes. laughs> all these great things. I want to ask you now too. Um, I know that your mom is very very close oh. to you. <laughs> I know that your mom is very close to you. What are the benefits that you feel of having your mom behind your brand? Well, you know, number one, I wouldn't be the woman I am today if it wasn't for my mom. Amen. When you talk, I was listening to you when you yes. before you came on, and you were talking about how your mom stayed on you. Yes. Your mom made you take a picture of the license plate. When I tell you this woman was strict, like I couldn't ride my bike off the block. So yes. that's how strict she was. So she made sure that I was always in line. So the reason why I am so driven and I'm so determined and the reason why I excel the way that I do is because of the values that she's always instilled in us. When I first started my company, you know, my mom, she always wanted me to be a nurse. That's the reason why I became a nurse. I wanted to make her happy. You know, I grew up in an environment where I always saw nurses. She worked at a hospital. So when I transitioned and I stepped out on faith and started my company, you know, she was a little leery. She was like, okay, right. you don't leave your nursing career for this. And I was like, you know, just have faith in me. Like, I'm, I'm going to do this. And even though she, she didn't know, nobody knew that my yo was going to take off the way it did. But she was still behind my back, helping pack orders. You know, when we were in the kitchen, in the basement, you know, I remember we went out of town one week and she was packing the orders herself. So even Aww. though she didn't, she couldn't see it, she was right. still there helping me. And, so, and you need that support. And not yeah. only just helping me, but also helping with my kids. Because yeah. we travel a lot and we need them. And I don't trust anybody to watch my kids. Like, yeah. she's, the only, she's the only person I allow to watch my kids. So needing that support system to be there for my kids as well has helped me out tremendously. Like I wouldn't be able to do half the stuff that I'm doing if it wasn't for her. Amen. Ella está diciendo que básicamente la mamá desde un principio no creía necesariamente los sueños de ella de sacar su sí, línea de, de su producto, pero aunque como quiera siendo madre la apoyaba, eh, ella envasaba todo y la ayudaba y ahora gracias a Dios una compañía que vale muchísimo dinero, está en muchísimas plataformas y pues, pues Amen, bueno. um, that is definitely a, a, a great testimony to talk about how, you know, your mom has been a support system no matter the age. Your mom mm -hmm. has always been a support system. Yeah. And this is what I want to do. I want, I want more daughters and mothers to have this bond that you right. and your mother have, that, that my mother and I have. I know a lot of people feel like they can't communicate properly to their mom or they might not necessarily get along, you know, the best. Um, so in this case, I want to ask your mom, if you could describe your daughter in three words, what would you say? She is beautiful, excellent, intelligent. Aww. All of that. That is so awesome. I am very proud of her. She's Amen. Very, yes. Look out, Shay. Yes. There you go. We're all proud of her. Yes. You know what? I also never, want to ask you I this, never mom. doubt her. I don't. I don't. I, I also want to ask you this, Mom. Um, for any of those mothers that may be watching the show that wish that they could have um, that relationship that you have with your daughter, is there any advice that you can give, whether it's the daughter or the mother? Well, you know, um, when we when she was coming up as a young adult, you have to communicate with your daughter. You have to pay attention to your kids, mm -hmm. you know, and make them feel comfortable at talking to you about anything and everything. You know, it was a few times, you know, she had conversations with me, you know, and right. I didn't like it, you know, right. as far as when it came to the opposite sex or whatever, you know. But I didn't let, I didn't show that I was angry or mad. You right. know, because I wanted her to still be able to come to me and talk to me mm -hmm. and leave the door open. Yes, that that definitely is true. And what about when um when your baby became a mom? How was that transition for you to you know be there to be the support system and to guide her in the process of like okay now you're going to be a mom? You know how was that transition for you? 
Well, you know, I look at the way, you know, she got some of me in her at the oh. way she's up bringing her kids, you know. So what I instilled in her, she's bringing it into her values and her kids. So, you know, um, and, you know, the fact of the matter that she had a child on the same day that I had her, she had actually two kids <laughs> on the same day that I actually had her. That's a blessing. Amen. That is fire. That is awesome. Uh, you know, it, just, it just dawned on me one day. I'm like, you know, she had a child on the same day that I had her. Okay. You know, it actually had two children. Yes. Yes. And most definitely, I know that, you know, her, the, her children are basically, it's like you becoming a mom all over again. Um, yes. Monique, for you, how was it? Um, now that you are a mother, all the advice or, or maybe some of the things that your mom used to tell you, do, can you now understand where she was coming from now that you are a mom? Absolutely. Listen, I tell my kids all the time, and she has to back me up because Absolutely. now my kids think that I'm being mean. You know, I don't do sleepovers. My mom didn't let me sleep over because, you know, a lot of stuff happens at sleepovers, so I was not allowed. So I don't let my kids uh, do sleepovers. I don't let my kids ride their bikes off the block either because you just never know with the world that we live in. Like, I always keep a close eye on them, um, you know. Right. So I know that some of her ways are definitely instilled in me. So when my kids are like, oh, well, I can't do that. Oh, you're me. She's always like, listen, Mia, Mackenzie, you may not like it now, but when right. you're older, you'll appreciate exactly. it. And I have to tell them that as well. And I remind my kids, like, listen, the reason why I came out the way I came out is because of how strict she was. Because yeah. all my other friends who moms let them do exactly. whatever they wanted to do, mm -hmm. we all, we can see where they're at now. Yes. Okay. They got you on much of nothing. Yes. And, you know, so, again, you, you, you want to lay that foundation. You want to set that foundation. You want to train up a child in the way that they should go, and they will never stray from it. And so that's how I teach my kids. And again, you know, your kids, they'll appreciate it when they get older. Yeah, they're going to be mad at you. They're not going to like it now. But one thing right. she always told me is that we're close. We have a relationship, but I ain't one of your little friends. And so okay. I tell my kids the same exactly. thing. <laughs> oh, my God. And then the story repeats. Now you'll be the yeah. one that said, I ain't one of your little friends. Yeah, it's true. Oh, you can't be that. I get it from her. You, it is true. Um, my love, I want to ask you, um, is it possible really quick for you to um, tell everyone where they can buy your products um, and tell them, you know, where they can buy your products um, and your Instagram as well? Yeah, so my Instagram is at Exquisite Mo, so you guys can see it in the corner. And you can buy my own products at Target, Sally's, Walmart, CVS, Kroger, um, Walgreens, beauty wow. supply stores. You can buy it. And our website is myinorganics.com. I am so proud of you. In a little bit of time that I've had the opportunity to get to know you, I love the fact that you are beautiful, you're positive, you're a happy person. You're always looking for new ways to, to see greatness um, and success. And those are the type of friends that I want to have in my circle, okay? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. Those are the type of yes. friends I need yes. around me. And I hope that I too can give you some of my energy as well. I'm taking it. I'm <laughs> taking it all in. <laughs> Mom, Mooney, thank you so much for joining my live, guys. You already know Mayel Organics. Go check it out. Go purchase it right now. Go follow them on their social media platforms. And if you want to um, be able to have access to this amazing hair moisturizer, you can actually buy it now on the Grind Pretty. You can go at Grind Pretty or you can go to my website, www amaralega.com and go purchase your Grand Pretty box with a whole bunch of amazing treats, which by the way, later on today, I'm also going to be talking to my friend, Dr. K from Pro Black Health. So guys, stay tuned for all that information coming up right now. Thank you so much guys for joining my live today. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Always. <laughs> Thank all you. Right. Bye Take guys. Care. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, we need to have more positive people talking about their relationship with their mothers. Um, you know, and, and you know what? Not only the positive, but let's also talk about the struggle. Let's talk about the healing process. You know, no relationship is perfect. You have to work on it. And part of working on it is talking about it and watching other, other um, whether it is other daughters, other, other sons, other fathers, other mothers, they have a good relationship. How were they able to get to that point? So talking about that, mami, hay alguna pregunta que a ti te gustaría hacerme como, como madre que tal vez no me las he hecho. 
curiosidades. Este es un momento que estamos hablando con el público, porque yo sé que el público admira mucho nuestra relación, pero también yo digo que nosotros hemos, hemos tenido nuestros momentos altos, nuestras bajas, porque no siempre nos llevamos bien. Tenemos nuestros momentos que nos damos nuestro cabezazo, porque somos dos eh, individuos diferentes, pensamos diferente, pero no nos dejamos de querer. Nada, a ver si yo me he preguntado eh, si tú te has sentido feliz de tenerme como madre, orgullosa de mí, si ha tenido alguna duda, alguna inquietud, o, o ha tenido alguna pregunta que hacer, alguna duda. Claro. Bueno, yo diría que como madre, estoy, como madre has hecho un, un trabajo espectacular. No tengo quejas. I love you so much. You are the best mom in the world. Um, you know, I have nothing bad to say about you as a mother. You have been exceptional. Um, even though that sometimes you get on my nerves because you already know, <laughs> you know, that's normal. But um, I think we get on each other's nerves and that's part of... Yo sé que a veces me pasó un poco de protectiva, ¿no? Sí, sometimes you can be overprotected. Pero I know that comes from a good place. Yo sé que viene de un buen lugar y que no viene con malas intenciones. You're just trying to look out for me. Besides the fact that this way that this world is set up, okay, you need to have people that's trying to look over you and trying to protect you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not easy out here. Um, and that's why I want to talk to a friend of mine who is, she is a lion. She is, she is the true protector of her children. She is an amazing woman. She's Caribbean. She's black. She's gorgeous. That melanin is popping. And she is my friend, Spice. Hi. Buenas noches. Am I saying it correct? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Yes. Tan linda. How are you doing, my love? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. You know, the, we have spoken in so many different occasions. I personally am such a fan of your music, of what you do, of what you represent. I've always spoken about you in the highest way possible. Because mm -hmm. I think that women need to support each other more, especially when you see that they're putting in that hard work. And I know how hard it is to make it. You know that today we're talking about the beauty of mothers and daughters and, and just overall the aspect of what a mother is. First of all, how have you been surviving this quarantine with your children at home? Um, to be honest, I've been surviving and I've been enjoying the moments with my kids because the truth is, um, when I wasn't on quarantine, I've been so busy on tours and shows and traveling from Jamaica to Atlanta. Uh -huh. I really get this amount of time with the kids. So I am really enjoying the time, you know, that I'm spending with them more. Um, so I'm really appreciative of having these moments with them just locked up every single day. We've been locked up in my apartment in Atlanta for over two months now. So I really, I'm glad for the break. I can't complain. We have Amen. been- Amen. Well. Amen to that. And I think it's something that's very important for us to talk about, which I think everybody saw it. It made up over the blog. <laughs> Please tell me what your children, for those that may not have had an opportunity to see the video, which by the way, go follow her, go check her out right after this live, my girl Spice. What did your children do for you for Mother's Day? Oh my God, I'm Mara. <laughs> oh my God, you made me want to have some. I, can, so can much, I, just... and I feel like if I talk about it, I'm going to cry all over again. Oh my God, lend me your kids for like a day just so that I can have that feeling. It was beautiful. Maybe you just send them back and they put it on them back. <laughs> but they are adorable. Um, they call one of my friends who they call on here in Atlanta that they want to get stuff um for my Mother's Day. And of course, I was sleeping. My aunt picked them up and they went out. And can I tell you, they my daughter made me breakfast, first of all, for Mother's Day. She made Ooh. me cakes. She made me pancakes and eggs. She's nine years old. So uh -huh. I was super excited about that um and they bought me little gifts they bought me kit kat which is one of my favorite chocolate Ooh, they bought me because they say every morning i'm searching for a pair of socks i can't find socks Where's my socks? <laughs> <laughs> they bought me socks and um i lost a few fingernails because you know while i'm quarantine i can't go out and get my nails done so my right. daughter a pack of nails just to glue and go so Aww. they bought so many little cute stuff that made me cry. And can I tell you, they 
they um they drew i love you mom on every single glass in the house on the refrigerator on the microwave on every mirror everywhere i love you mom happy mother's day and i was just crying oh my god that is so beautiful i had the opportunity of watching it and to be honest that only speaks about what a great mother you are because children are the most innocent and the most transparent thing in this world and they speak from their heart so if they did all those things for you and i'm sure they would have done more they could have it only speaks about how great of a mother you are thank you so much and they sing for me how could i forget that they woke me up singing they were yeah. singing for me so yes um I, i'm really happy about my mother's day it was actually one of my best mother's day but but wait a second though hold on so you have two babies right now. Are you planning yes. on having any more children? You want more babies or no? Then, Amara, of course I do. When I get married, though, <laughs> when I get married, but listen to this part. Yes. <laughs> okay. Listen to this part. Listen to this part. When I get married, I want me a pair of twin or a triplet or a quadruplet. That's my dream. <laughs> now let me tell you something that's also my dream because if oh, i could just pop three or four of them one time oh, 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 girl. <laughs> i will be so happy okay? let's see. all right so now so here what let's see who's gonna go first i feel like i'm gonna go after you I feel like I'm gonna go after you, so I'm gonna wait on you, and then I'm gonna go after. Okay, and listen, you get pregnant one time, you go through the process, and you pop all your babies at once, kind of like you know what I'm saying, like I don't know, Jennifer Lopez had twins, Beyonce had twins, who else had twins? A lot of people have had twins, and it's worked out perfectly. You want triplets and quadruplets? <laughs> triplets and quadruplets, I'm with it, but you know that they're expensive, so we gotta figure no. this out. Uh -oh. Part. <laughs> Let's talk about that part. Okay. But the it, They're very the expensive. And you know what? Talking about expensive, I want to also talk to you about something that I think that is important. I can, you know, somewhat relate, even though that I don't have any children. As a mother who is an artist, who is a very sexy artist, yes. how do you find yourself balancing that? Does it ever get a little bit challenging, difficult? Have you had, obviously, that conversation with your kids? Like, look, this is mommy's job. This is what I do, you know? How was that for you? Um, to be honest, I've been an artist for over a decade now. My daughter is still pretty young. She's now nine years old. Okay. And so she's not there yet of age where I'm going to sit her down and have that adult conversation with her. So right. I still have a little more time to go, a few more years. But I'm sure as soon as she starts to become, a, you know, a teenager and stuff i have to say well you know this is mommy's job this is what right. i used to do because i know i won't be in these sexy little outfits forever right. so by the time she probably gets older i'm sure i'm gonna you know kind of tone it down a little bit but i mean even though that's kind of hard though because when you have that fire in you that's <laughs> true that's true but i mean as soon as they get older they'll understand that listen my kids already know that there's spice and there's grace hamilton so the mom at home that they know my fans don't know that person so the persona that i you know when i'm at home i speak properly to my kids i make sure they're well educated like they speak properly as well they're well groomed very intelligent mannerable kids and stuff like the spice on stage is raw and feisty and lewd and full of lyrics i would chat anything and tell anybody what I feel like my kids don't really know that person right right the same thing the same thing when it comes to love and hip-hop you know I, I was just curious too I mean I'm sure you don't let your kids watch the show but no, um, they, you know they have social media or, or TV or just the, their friends in school or whatever do you ever find yourself and trust me I know how love and hip-hop goes I know how the drama goes do you ever find yourself like you know you're in an awkward space where you're like I will beat your ass, but I gotta think about my kids. So hold Listen, up. Um Everybody know me on the Love and Hip Hop. I be myself. And if me have a fight, my fight's coming out. Nobody beat me on the show. And I ask Christ. So let's put that out of it. Okay. My kids are not allowed to watch Love and Hip Hop. 
My mm -hmm. son is older. He's um he's 12 years old. So he has friends that would say, oh, I saw your mom on TV and she was fighting or this and that. And then he'll come back to me and say, mom, someone told me. And I was like, no, he was just acting. You know, I just brush it off like, no, I was just doing, you know. Right, right, right. So I'm not really, my are still pretty young. I'm not really there yet for me to have that conversation with them. So I really don't allow them to watch my performance, listen to my music. They don't watch Love and Hip Hop. Right. So I just keep my adult entertainment to itself. It's on, you know, that spice business. Like, I don't I really. I love the way that you divide and separate one thing from the other. I wish that there would be, you know. To each his own. Everybody raises their children the best of their abilities, and everybody raises them with, you know, with whatever vision it is that they have. But I wish that more people thought the way that you do. And talking about you being a successful artist and a successful mother, and you're successful in every aspect of your life, let's also talk about you have a whole cosmetic line that I saw the microphone and the piano little palette and everything. Can you tell us a little bit about this? First of all, I need to send you those products. They are the cute as yes. little. I created a microphone brush set because I'm into music. So anything I do, I'm going to involve my first love, which is music. Right. I created a brush that looks like a microphone. It has 10 brushes inside. It's animal cruelty free. And um, it's just the cutest little packaging. It's um, very unique. The, the brushes are very fluffy and the quality is superb. So mm. a lot of people see this microphone and they're like, oh, it's a microphone. I said, no, it's not a microphone. It's actually a brush, a brush set. Mm. Uh, it's called Faces and Laces. And it also has a piano palette, again, because of my love for music. I saw it. What I did with the, um, the colors, I named the colors off of my hit songs. So I have Sheet, I have Some Like It, I have Nig I have all the colors named after all of my hit songs. Smart, smart. Uh, getting a lot of orders. I mean, it's a one-time collection. I'm not, you know, going to repeat it. So most of my right. fans are enjoying this product. Faces and Laces is the name of the line, and it's doing extremely well. Amen to that, guys. If you haven't gone to go get your faces and laces, go buy it now. Go check it out now. You have time for the um, She just gave me the brush. Um, the brush that she was like, here. <laughs> oh, exactly. Okay, good. Um, this is a time for you guys. If you don't know how to do your makeup, go practice doing your makeup. Um, this is a great time to, oh my God, I love the packaging. I think it's super cute. I love the fact that you were so creative and still implementing your choice of music into your makeup palette. Um, I think it's super cool. And yes, I want my own little package too, girl. Uh-huh, yes. <laughs> I'll definitely hey, listen, um, Spice, what do you want your legacy to be? My legacy? Um, what do you want to be remembered for? I think I want to be remembered for the strong black woman that I am. I think a lot of people had this misconception that because of the color or the shade of my skin, I wouldn't make it this far. And so I want to break barriers. I want them to know that your melanin shouldn't define who you are or stop you or put you on, you know, um, just stop you at, at, at a certain level. So I want to open up a lot of doors for melanated women just to show them that we can make it. I want to be remembered as a survivor because I've survived. I've just beat the odds. I've Amen. done that. I've kicked down a lot of doors and I want to continue kicking down a lot of barriers and just setting trends. So I just want to be remembered as a survivor because I came from humble beginnings. I came from nothing. A little poor girl from Brayton. You know, I basically had nothing. I started from the bottom to the top and I just want to be remembered as that survivor. Um, that's what I want to be remembered as. That woman who survived through it all because they threw a lot of things at me and I just keep knocking them down. Amen. And you surely do. And that's why I'm so proud of you. Um, I am Dominican. You know what I'm saying? Um, we come culturally, we're, we're different, but we're still Caribbean. I get it. I am proud of the woman that you have become. I am. I, I have the honor of being able to see your evolution. I can't wait till one day we finally do a collaboration together because everybody's waiting for it. Everybody I, has asked for it. <laughs> so we got to do it. I can't, I can't wait for the future. You know, oh. Amara, okay? <laughs>
I like Hargreaves. It's going to be lit. Um, I, I want you to tell everybody where they can follow you and the name of where they can also, once again, purchase your new collection of makeup. Well, it's called Faces and Laces, so it's www.facesandlaces.com if you want to hop on the website. But if you just click on the link in my bio, it's right in my bio. And Spice Official, that's my name on Instagram. So follow me, grab my products, and you're going to love it. You can thank me later. All right, my love. Well, thank you so, so much for joining my live. I truly appreciate it. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Before I go, Amara, before I go. Yes. I want you to drop a Jamaican. So I said, big up yourself. What? I, I said before I go, I want you to drop a little Jamaican. Oh, drop a little Jamaican? So I, want, I want you to say, big up yourself. Uh, big, up, big up yourself. Yes, goody. Yes, goody. Go on with a steamed fish and okra body. What? Fish, <laughs> fish and okra body. Fish. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. My axes are terrible. But I will work on it, though. Bye. <laughs> Bye, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, let me tell you something. You have to have a talent to do good accents, because you don't see me when I say that sento. But oh, I be trying. Anyways, I'm such a fan of Spice. I'm so glad that she connected on the live today. Um, she is so inspirational. She's such a beautiful woman. I love her message. I love what she stands for. And if you guys haven't had an opportunity to check her out on Love & Hip Hop, most definitely go check her out. Um, well, we're not done. No more terminado, but let me ask my mom a little something because you know that today is my mom is the bomb because my mom is the bomb. Mami, eh, una pregunta. A ver, a ver qué te puedo preguntar, que ellos no se va a tocar. Tal vez el público quiera saber. ¿Algún, alguna nota curiosa, dato curioso eh, que hay, eh, eh, tal vez hayamos vivido, algo por el estilo que el público no sepa que te gustaría compartir con ellos? ¿No estás curiosa de, de, de ti? Sí. Bueno, que tú eras bastante inquieta y que me diste un buen susto un día que te tomaste todas mis pastillas. Ay, no. Que tuve que llevarte de emergencia. ¿Cuántos años yo tenía cuando eso? Unos tres y medio, cuatro años. I know. Kids play a lot. They be trying a lot of stuff. It's true. So for those that didn't understand that, long story short, I'm like, Mom, is there anything that the audience may not have known about me that could be interesting about me? Which, by the way, um, before I go, I get into that, don't, don't forget to go, which, by the way, I'm not sure we tagged it in here, but don't forget to go to my website, www.amaranega.com, www.amaranega.com, uh, for a chance. Let me see. What is this? Oh, my God. We're going to talk about it already? Are you sure? Okay, well, uh, people, Sunday, oh my God, because I'm, okay, I wasn't sure we could talk about it, but long story short, um, starting this Sunday, thanks to my sponsors, thanks to my people from Boost Mobile, I am going to be giving away phones, I'm going to be giving away cell phones, I'm going to give you guys all the details on my page, so if you want to know more, go check out my page, and I'm about to post, but if you don't have a phone right now, or you may want to give a phone out to somebody that's a friend of yours or whatever, now on Sundays you'll have an opportunity of winning a phone. But with that being said, my mom was saying that when I was like about three years old or something, I was like, Mom, what about a fun fact? When I was about three years old, I was just curious because I used to watch my mom, you know, take medicine all the time. So I just opened the bottle and just chugged all her medicine like they were Tic Tacs. Ended up in emergency. They had to like pump my yeah, stomach watch and wash yeah. my stomach out and everything, you know. And it's true when you have children, you gotta keep all your eyes on them because they will do anything. Well, anyways, um, and before we actually go talk to my friend Dr. K, I want to ask my mom about vitamins. I know that she's really into it. Um, when it comes to vitamins, in tu casa la vitamina, ¿qué vitaminas son las que a ti te gustan? Porque tú consideras que son buenas que tú has probado. Me gusta la vitamina B. La vitamina D, vitamin D, which we spoke la, about last week, which is very good. B12. Oh, B12. Oh, we haven't spoken about B12. But it is true. B12 is really good. And I know that a lot of people have been taking the B12 shot or the IVs and stuff during this time. Everybody's trying to get their immune system, you know, up. So that's definitely Vitamina C. Vitamin C, yeah, it's true. La E. Pero, pero vitamin C, we obviously know you can get it from, like, you know, um, oranges and lemons and stuff like that. There's natural ways of getting it, but... If you want a boost, you can just take your vitamin. And see, 
Oh, zinc, zinc, zinc. Zinc. You know that I heard about it, but I don't know much about it. Maybe, maybe Dr. Okay, K can tell me. Maybe Dr. K can tell me about that. That. Okay, yeah. What else? That's it. Those, those are your favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I recently learned about probiotics. Magnesium. Magne magnesium. Yeah. Oh, I don't know much about that one either. What's that good? What is magnesium good for? Guys, can you write that down for me? What is magnesium good for? Well, anyway, we're gonna be talking to Dr. K, and she's gonna help us um, discuss all these um, all these vitamins and stuff that we need to know. But I recently learned about probiotics, so definitely getting into that. Um, biotin is something that I had already heard about, but wasn't really into it. But now I've been, I decided to make it my mission to take all my pro black health vitamins. So I have a whole kit, which by the way, where is my kit of vitamins? I had it here somewhere. Okay, anyways, we're gonna look for my for my kid um, because we're gonna go live now with my friend Dr. K. And I want us, even though we're gonna talk about specific things, in this case, um, I still wanna talk about these vitamins because we gotta take vitamins every day. And by the way, I'm also gonna be giving away vitamins, so stay tuned for that. You see? Is she here? Dr. K! Hi! Happy Wednesday! Hi, how are you? I'm excellent. How are you? Hi, mommy. Hi, how are you? Good. I am over here um, with my whole box of vitamins. I look like a vitamin crackhead because I'm like taking all my vitamins. Like, oh my God, I need to take them. But um, I'm glad that last time and like every week you usually take us through the vitamins, how they work, what are they good for and all those things. But first of all, how are you doing today? How do you feel? I feel pretty good. It wasn't too bad at work today, so I'm glad I could make it on and talk to you. So I'm excited. Awesome. awesome. Well, for those that are logging in now that may not know, Dr. K is my BFF, and she is the boss, the CEO, creator of Pro Black Health. Um, and in this case, I am a fan of the, of the whole collection of vitamins that they have, especially the gummies. But before we get started... Um, I want to ask you, what was your motivation to start the Pro Black Health Vitamins for those that may have not been able to watch during our last conversation? Sure. So our motivation was, um, I've been in healthcare now for over 15 years. I'm from New York. I lived in D.C. I live in Atlanta. So predominantly minority communities. So people who look like me or my parents or my siblings and my friends. And everyone is just so sick. And I feel like we are not recognizing how important our health is. And realistically, I think people of color, we're just so dope. We're just so strong and we have so much potential. And we're taking our health for granted. And we wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something. Yeah, I was saying that, that you've been watching, do on you've been watching on social media. And if you've been watching the news, if you've been watching on social media and all these things, it is true when you say that black people, we take our health for granted. Um, we see how there's so many people going out and doing these open parties and mm -hmm. doing all types of house parties and all types of craziness during the middle of a pandemic. Um, and it is true. We do need to be more subconscious about our health, taking care of ourselves. And that's why um, if you haven't purchased your Grand Pretty Box, you can do so now. That's why I want to talk to you guys about the benefits of Queen Essentials. Um, you, you guys obviously have like the big bottles, but in this case, if you purchase your Grand Pretty Box, you can try a, a sample of the gummies. Can you tell us what is in here and what are the benefits of these multivitamins? So the benefits of our Queen Essentials, first let's start with the name. The reason why we called it Queen Essentials, which is in theme with what you're doing, honoring mothers and women, is that we really wanted to pay honor to the fact that our legacy really comes from royalty. And I think we've forgotten that over the ages and with media and just how society sees us, we don't respect ourselves the way that we should. So it's to remind us women that we're all queens and we Amen. all have to take care of ourselves. That's um, right, let me put, yes. you know, readjust, readjust my mom's crown yes. because she's a queen. I am a queen, readjusting my crown. We're all queens. Queen, uh, readjust your crown for me real quick. Readjust. Thank you. Boom, you gotta feel it, okay? <laughs> um, exactly. and, and you know what? Not only are you a queen, not only do you give back, not only do you care, which is the most important thing, that you actually care to give back to educate people, and that's why you're taking time out of your day to talk to us. I want you to tell everyone because 
if you can't afford, for example, have some of these vitamins. I know that you're doing a contest right now where you're giving away vitamins. Can yes. you tell us more about that? Sure. So the prize is going to be seven vitamins um, of various types. We have multivitamins, hair, skin, and nails, super greens, melatonin for sleep, vitamin D, um, oh, wow. probiotics. And all you have to do is follow our Instagram, which is ProBlack underscore health. Okay. Um, our website is in our bio. Okay. And um, tag two friends. So and follow your page, tag two friends, and website on the bio is on the bio. The bio is just where you can find out about the different products. Okay. But tag two friends, and you get extra entries if you post the, the post of the contest to your stories. Oh, there you go. So um, later on, you can send me the information so that I, too, can post on my page. I would love people to participate in the, in the possibility of getting this whole kit full of vitamins that we all need at this moment to boost up our immune system and to just take care of ourselves from the inside out. Um, I love the fact that you're doing this contest, which gives people a possibility of getting a whole kit. Like, there's mm -hmm. no vitamins you could be missing once you have this kit. Um, exactly. For more information, where can they go to purchase? So our website is www.problack, that's P-R-O-B-L-K health.com. And the link is also in our bio on Instagram. Nice. Well, my love, I want to thank you once again, like always. And I know that you're usually always with us on our Stay Fit uh, Saturdays. In this mm -hmm. case... Um, you're with us on My Mom is the Bomb because, like I said before, if you guys want to try a sample, right, of the Queen Essential multi Multivitamin, you can do so now by going to amaranega.com to purchase your Grand Prix box or go to Grand Prix box. Me gusta la vitamina que no sabe a medicina. Saben a fruta, es como un candy. Saben a candy. Exactamente. Mami, no sé it in English. I like it because it's, the flavor is so candy. Okay, it tastes like candy. That's what she's saying. You know, it don't taste like medicine. Like some of these gummies no. taste like medicine. This actually you can enjoy. As a matter of fact, mommy, here's your two. Here are your two. This is the big bottle of the Queen Essential, right here. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna give my mom two of because it's two a day. All right, mommy. Mm -hmm. Boom. And I too am gonna take my Queen Essentials. For the day, here yes. are my two. So you see, guys, this is not advertisement. This is not fake. This is legit. I no, actually do take the products. Oh, really and I good. forgot to say that all of our products are vegetarian, vegan friendly. So we mm. don't use any animal products. Um, and 50% of the profits go back towards initiatives in the community that deal with health and healing in minority communities. So helping yourself will also help somebody else, which I think is so important just to elevate our culture as um in general well you know what i want to thank you so much as usual because you are the bomb thank you so thank much you. for joining my live and of for course. educating us on um, the queen essentials guys you already know go 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 now to um pro 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 black, pro -black. Sport help, help right yep to participate in the possibilities of winning a whole kit full of vitamins okay thank you so much my love Thank you. See you Saturday. See you Saturday. I'm over here eating my my gummies. Um. So now, before the show is over, which is about to be over, I I want to um talk about how to deal with daddy issues. This is a, this is a strong topic. Um, I feel like we're gonna need more than five minutes. But how to deal with daddy issues? Let me ask my mommy. Como tú. ¿Cómo tú le explicas a tu hija que su papá no está involucrado en su vida? Ni lo va a estar. O tal vez sí lo va a hacer en un futuro muy lejano, pero que no lo está. Como madre, ¿cómo tú le explicas a tu hija el que yo voy a ser tu mamá, yo voy a ser tu papá, porque aunque tu papá esté vivo, él no va a formar parte de tu vida? Oh my God, put up this ACM hot, go ahead. Bueno, yo de la mejor manera que yo te, eh, se lo puedo explicar, en este caso a ti, eh, diciéndote que yo voy a, a ocupar los dos, hacer los dos papeles, ¿entiendes? A hacer el papel de madre y padre, porque 
el que es tu padre pues, decidió hacer su vida por otro lado. Y yo siempre iba a tratar, o trato todavía, de, 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 de llenar ese vacío que tú sentirías eh, acerca de, de que no tienes un padre al lado. Uh -huh. Pero siempre, en ningún momento te voy a hablar mal de él, sino que no todos los casos, no todas las familias son necesariamente estándar igual, ¿no? So, 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 so basically, I'm asking my mom, like, when you have a daughter, how do you explain to your daughter, or maybe even your son, but in this case, your daughter, that, you know, your dad is not going to be around, you know, even though he's alive, I will become your mother and your father, because your father chose to necessarily not necessarily be part of your life, right? So that's a good question, and I would love for you guys to answer that Um under here, how do you, as a parent, tell your children, for those that are single parents, how do you explain to your children that their father is not around? Because that's the most important, that's like the source, right? When men choose not to be involved as the father figure in their life, how do you have that conversation? It doesn't matter what age it is, but how do you start the conversation? How do you have that conversation and explain, you know, I will now be your mother and your father? Um, You know, in her case, because that's why I always say communication is key. My mom just said in, in Spanish that, um, you know, she basically had to have the conversation with me and explain to me that, you know, she wasn't going to badmouth my father. She wasn't going to speak badly of him. You know, in due time, he would have the right to, you know, have a conversation with me and explain the reasons why he chose not to be part of my life, which if you guys have watched Love and Hip Hop Miami, You guys had an opportunity to see that happen. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to know, you know, write, write down there so I can read real quick. What are your thoughts as far as that's concerned? Um, in my case, I want to talk about how I reconnected with my father. Yo quiero hablar de cómo fue que yo me conecté con mi papá otra vez. Um, mi papá nunca se involucró mucho en mi vida, para decir que no, mi no, no estuvo. Pero ya llegó una cierta edad, un cierto punto en mi vida que yo dije, mira, aunque mi padre no sea el mejor padre, no quiere decir que yo debo ser una mala hija. Yo no quiero que Dios me castigue a mí, porque si yo soy más inteligente y yo veo más allá, yo debo de tomar la iniciativa de hacer lo correcto. Y parte de hacer lo correcto es el aprender a perdonar, el no olvidar, más no olvidar, pero sí a perdonar, porque nadie es perfecto, todo, todo el mundo comete errores, algunos errores son más grandes que otros, hay muchos errores que no se pueden preparar, que ya después que están hechos ya, pero uno siempre tiene la posibilidad de, de intentar por lo menos de cambiar eh, el concepto ¿no? de, de lo que es esa unión familiar. ¿no? So basically what I'm saying is, I got to a certain place and we're talking about Uh, the absence of a father in, in a daughter's life. Personally, I got into a space. También llega un momento que, que él va uh, envejeciendo y no se sentía bien de salud. So, so dice, voy a dar una oportunidad, ¿entiendes? Voy a acercarme a él porque right. ya, ya es momento. Ya. Pero, pero besides that, I felt in my heart that it came to a point in my life where I just felt like just because he's a bad yes. father doesn't mean that I have to be a bad daughter, you know? Um, I can stop the cycle. I can break the cycle by doing right, even if they have done wrong, you know, by me. And obviously seeing that he's getting older, you know, I already know the older you get for the most part, we already know what that means. So if I can at least try to put my part into being the best daughter I can be and show him, you know, the daughter that he missed out on, you could have been part of this experience. You could have been part of watching me develop and grow into the woman that I have become. So... I, long story short, personally, I just felt that it was the right thing for me to do inside my heart for myself. I didn't necessarily do it for him. Sometimes we have to do things for ourselves, for our own personal healing, for our own mental, you know, peace of mind. So when it comes to you guys, I don't know if anybody that's logged in here has had that situation where their father hasn't been involved or maybe may have not cared or whatever the case may have been. Find it in your heart to forgive. Find it in your heart to move forward because it's going to be very healing and it's going to help you in your heart. It's going to help you in your life in, in the long run. So just try to find that space, especially now with everything that's happening with quarantine, to forgive and not forget, but to forgive. 
Um, I also want to talk to you guys about the fact that starting next month, we know that this month was Mother's Day. Uh, we had Mother's Day, but we celebrated Mother's Month. And next month, I'm not sure we're going to celebrate Father's Month, but we are most definitely going to be doing Father, Father Day show um, and more shows that are inclined to men. More conversations that are inclined to men. I've heard so many great perspectives of women, and I now want to be able to have the possibility of listening and giving an opportunity to men to express themselves as well. Any concerns, any thoughts? Um, men, too, have a lot of healing to do. Have, um, they, too, get confused. They, too, get misguided. They, too, have emotions that I feel that don't necessarily, they don't necessarily address. So I can't wait to start this new male show, this new man talk um, next month. And, and I want to be able to talk to you guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to have doctors, um, therapists, uh, psychiatrists, psychiatrists, whomever. We're going to make it really good. The point is that stay tuned for that because, unfortunately, our My Mom is a Bomb show is coming to an end. Stay Fit Saturdays will continue. Stay Fit Saturdays will continue. But in this case, we're going to officially start working out next month with King Fitness. We're going to take you throughout the whole workout. Uh, we're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to be doing raffles. Now on Sundays, which is Bible Meet Sundays, we're also going to be giving out phones, thanks to Boost Mobile. And by the way, if you guys haven't um, checked out all the posts that I've been doing on my page about uh, Step Up to the Mic, Sundays I'm also giving you guys an opportunity to step up to the mic before you actually step up to the mic through Triller for an opportunity to get signed with a major label, a management deal, a music video, a, a professional music video, by the way, a oh. featuring with Quavo, um, backed up by Offset, written by Star, which wrote the the hit single for Camilia Cabello, uh, Havana. She's also written for Maroon 5, amongst many amazing people. So stay tuned for that. Um, and pretty much, thank you guys so much for logging in. Thank you guys for joining me like every Wednesday on, you know, my mom is the bomb because my mom is the bomb. And I can't wait to see you thank guys you. next week. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.